What's happening there, Slinging TV? It's Ty. Hey, I'm going to be doing a series of videos here real quick about how I shoot, what I shoot, um, what techniques I use to shoot, and the gear. Uh, so on this first video, this first installment, I'd like to talk about my setup. Uh, this is one of my main bows. I shoot a lot. This is a Hoyt Dorado. Um, this one is 50 pounds. I'm super comfortable at 50 pounds and when I move up to, I have one bow, a Bob Lee that's at 56. That's kind of the top of my range. I think 52, 53 would be perfect for me, but they make these in increments of five. So they have 50, 55. So but I'm very partial to my Hoyt Dorado. It's kind of my workhorse. Um, <clears throat> I have a quickie three arrow quiver, as you can see. Um, this thing pops on and off. I can hang it in the tree if I'm in a tree stand. Um, I really like it because it's small and, and easy to use. My arrows are Easton Axis. These are very thin shaft. Um, they have a lot of penetration. I'm shooting 400s. Uh, I fletch with well, natural looking fletching and I use super glue. I've gone to super glue on these shafts because they're super thin. And when I was using fletch tight, it was coming off. So super glue seems to be holding really well. On the business end, I'm using Magnus 2 blade. Sometimes I use a bleeder, but uh, a lot of people I know like the 2 blade because they seem to get, they think they get better penetration when they hit a rib or something. It'll split the rib as where a bleeder will stop it when it hits a rib. So uh, that's my arrows and my bow. For a knocking point, I use dental floss. Um, once I find the point that I want it to be at, I put dental floss on the bottom for the knocking point, then I put a, uh, a clump on top. Um, that way, when I knock the arrow, it'll hold it in place better when I'm sitting in a stand or sitting in a tree. Uh, this is Velcro for arrow rest and some kind of a, uh, a soft, cushiony back plate. I forget who makes that. I make my silencers out of yarn. I just put them in the string, and they fray out. I split the string open and lay a bunch of strands of yarn about that long and then I trim them up with scissors and over time they fray like that. Uh, that's pretty much my one of my main hunting bows for traditional archery, the Hoyt Dorado. So that's the setup. Now on this next video we'll get a little bit more into how I shoot and, um, and, and a little bit more detail on what's going on with me and what I'm doing. So until next time I'm tired we'll catch you right back here on Arrow Slinging TV. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out the next installment of how I shoot and what I shoot. Catch y'all later.